Hey, what's up, Cancer? Welcome to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks for joining me here today for your December Wealth and Abundance Tarot card reading. So I'm going to be using the Gilded Tarot um, cards to do this read for you, and I hope you enjoy, and above all, I hope it resonates. But if it doesn't, keep in mind that this is a general read, so um, there might be something here for you, um, but hopefully the entire reading resonates, and you can let me know in the comments what you think, and just generally how you're doing and please remember to like share and subscribe guys that really helps me on the channel so I'm just gonna shuffle a couple more times uh, and the first card we're gonna look at is gonna represent your current financial situation so let's have a quick look at that one more I'll do a deck cut your current financial situation is that you could be praying for more of it as we have the Hierophant card here so the Hierophant card really represents, you know, obviously um, spiritual, church, whatever, like religion. And I don't mean like whatever religion, I just like whatever you choose to believe in. You could be right now just praying for a little bit more of it, um, having high expectations. You know, there's nothing wrong with praying for money, you guys. Like money provides you the comfort that you need to survive, right? Feed your kids you know, put a roof over your head, clothing, you know, whatever it is that you need to do. Money makes the world go around. So the second card we want to look at here is will money come in soon? And I've actually just pulled the Ace of Cups here. So um, you definitely have a great big opportunity coming in, um, you know, overflowing, overflowing with wealth. And it's going to like be um, very pleasing to you. And we do have the eye in the sky here. So it's definitely something that's going to be a blessing for you. You're going to be divinely blessed with money. So I'm really thinking this might not be something that you have to work for, but it could be um, a gift. It could be a bonus. It could be... Um, a bit of a lottery win for you you could sell your home it could be something like really unexpected that is going to bring in a gift of money because we have the moon cycles there uh, I'm seeing it come in within a moon cycle so like wherever you view this video count the moon cycle from there and that amount of days that's what I'm seeing so let's look at financial opportunities for you to consider This card has been coming up a lot in these readings. So this is really probably not a good time for you to invest money. Um, you might just wanna hold off until this other blessing comes in for you. Because I'm seeing this is, this the, it's just not the right time to consider any opportunity I'm not sure why, so let's pull a quick clarifier on that one. Um, unless you're really, really sure, you guys, unless you can really analyze with the King of Swords and, like, not be super excited and rush headlong into an opportunity because it feels good and it looks good, um, unless you're really confident and you can do your research on something, there's nothing you should be considering right now. Um, because it's not the right time because we pulled the five of wands and there's a lot of uh, contention around that um, symbolism right now so let's see um, who or what projects are financially beneficial to you so we've got the temperance card here this is really interesting so who or what projects are financially beneficial So there could be somebody coming in here with the attributes of temperance, like somebody who is like got a calming influence around you. And when I say keywords like that, like whoever you think of first, that's the person. So who can come in and sort of alleviate this energy? Like five of wands, like these people are not having very much fun. But if there's somebody that can come in and they can say, all right, everybody cool it, it's fine. And you know everything's gonna be okay and just like let's talk about it you know that really zend out person this this person could really have some advice for you on how to proceed with like especially if you're getting a gift right a great big gift of money and 
I think it's always wise to invest money or, you know, do something with it. You know, buy an RSP or RESP or whatever you want to do. But um, it can be so exciting to come into a big sum of unexpected money that you'll want to, like, splurge it and waste it, you know, because there has to be an understanding of how to work with money, you know, and you don't want to be disappointed and sort of flush it down the toilet and then have nothing left and nothing to show for it. Um, but if there's somebody like really sort of wise in your family that understands money and how to invest it, maybe go and speak to them. Whoever that cooling, calming person is, they should be able to help you understand the value of your money and, you know, not to go and just blow five thousand dollars at the mall on shoes or something like that because i mean really so anyway but your choice you know if you want five thousand dollars in shoes who am i so let's look at the outcome here for you cancer i feel like that's not the right card so i'm going to shuffle the deck one more time here all right so your outcome card is that you're going to make your money work for you. You know, um, I'm really seeing that it's, it's okay for you to go and obviously you need to enjoy your financial rewards. That's what money is for. But it's also to work for you so that it, it pays off somewhere down the line. Like if you're going to retire one day or you have a family to take care of. Um, it's going to take care of you in return. So really find that person who knows um, a little bit more about finance than you. And it's okay to not understand what to do with money, you guys. Um, it's not really taught in our school system, right? How to budget and take care of things and, and stuff like that. So there's no shame in that. Like we have to be taught everything um, and what to do in our lives. And that's what, um, you know, more educated or more seasoned people are for. That's to help you make these decisions that are gonna pay off in the end because your money should be working for you, um, you know, instead of the other way around. So I'm gonna pull one more card here over temperance to see if we can find, but I'm sure you already know who that person is. So this is going to be the person in your life here and could be possibly a water sign here and water is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The person that has everything already, even if it's not like not rolling in money or whatever, but they're incredibly happy and they're, you know, they're a really joyful person. And again, like this combination with the temperance card and the Ten of Cups, like just being really, really zen and happy with everything that they have. And they could give you some really interesting pointers here on what to do with this sudden influx of money. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing quite a bit of zeros there, you guys. So, and that can, like, it can seem like it'll last forever, but that's, you know, you gotta, you gotta be money smart. So, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the reading, so I'm going to leave it there. So take care of yourselves. I'll see you back here another time. Take care. Bye.